Hey, how's it going guys? It's Alexander here. Um, here to show you how to take apart a Asus Q501LA. Um, it's a Asus laptop ultrabook that would have been purchased from a vendor such as Best Buy or Newegg or something like that. Um, hadn't really seen any videos on YouTube or anything like that, so thought of um, showing you guys uh, me taking mine apart here. Uh, basically, to get started with, when actually taking one of these apart, it just takes a Phillips screwdriver, just as such as I have right here, just a Phillips standard Phillips tip, um, and uh, more of a smaller size, maybe a Type One or a Type Two. Um, what I'm doing here today is just a RAM replacement, a RAM upgrade, as well as actually a um, installation of a new wireless card, an Intel wireless card, instead of the Qualcomm one they have in there. And uh, this model specifically came with a N wireless card, so I'm upgrading that to an AC here as well, which you can do. Um, basically, the really the hardest part uh, to getting into this computer here is really just taking off this bottom casing here. Um, as you can see, there, I've already removed the screws, uh, but you can see there's screws that are going all the way around the actual laptop casing here. Um, every side, corner, and whatnot going all the way around. Uh, basically, just taking all those screws out, not really a big hassle. The really hard part is just, um, unfortunately, removing the casing. It's, uh, it's something that definitely makes you cringe every now and then with uh, all the cases, uh, sounds that it makes when you're trying to pry it off. Um, Best recommendation is to start right around this area on each side and then working your way around to the corners here. So if you just kind of dig in right here and then dig in right over here and then pry this back casing off starting on this side, uh, you're probably the best way to work it is once you get down to about halfway here, a little bit, maybe the speakers is a good point to stop. Same thing on this side, or as far as it goes, it's really smooth running on the sides. Then you can start to get into the front here. Once getting the sides off, you can then pry this backing off, and it'll pop off here where the fans are. Uh, after that, you can then lift it up, and unfortunately, there's going to be some pressure that's going to be holding right in the middle. There's a little centrifugal cylinder-style plug that pushes into the center of the laptop, so you have to actually kind of pull that out. It does feel like it's resisting, does feel like it's going to break. It it won't. It just takes a little bit of a, kind of got to shake it a little bit to try to get it to ease its way out. After that, you pull the lid off and you actually pull it towards the back. Reason being, these clips going right across the edges here, uh, unfortunately connecting here. But you can see this is a good condition one. And to the learning experience that I went through of taking this thing apart, there's a broken one here. Uh, as well as a little bit further down the laptop here. I have two broken ones out of the total, which again, if you break a couple, not going to make it uh, not hold down. It actually works perfectly fine. Uh, no drawbacks that I've seen so far. After you get the casing off, again, if you're familiar with working any with any other laptop systems, um, any other computer systems and that, here's your standard uh, SATA controller. I've already put an Intel solid state in here, so I've already been inside the laptop before. Unfortunately, that's where I made the two breaks on my first time taking this one apart. Um, but yeah, massive battery on this one here. Just taking up a whole laptop. You have your speakers on the sides here. Um, RAM sticks right in the middle. This is, I've already, again, been it, in it here and I replaced that RAM just a couple seconds ago. And this is the one that's going to be currently in the laptop, which is made by some company I've truly never heard of. But... Um, Replace it with a crucial RAM stick, which is usually the only one that people recommend, as well as the only one that technically seems to be working. A lot of people will report any other companies they buy from doesn't seem to actually work. Now, if you're like me and you wanted to upgrade this to an AC wireless card, moving on to the left here, we have the wireless card that's installed. This is an N wireless card. You can already see that I've removed these here. Pull straight off. You just gonna grab the edges and you just pull it straight up, nice and gently. Uh, but it has to be straight up or else you can bend it. Uh, but once they're disconnected, taking out this one screw right here, just with a Phillips screwdriver, quick little removal, and then it pops up just like a ram stick would. 
just gently pull the card out. They actually put this tape on here to hold down the CMOS battery. Getting my new one here. Here I'm actually installing an Intel chip. So it's an Intel AC wireless card. Again, Intel, Qualcomm, anyone you want to actually put in there, they all will work. Again, based upon what generation as well. So as the AC wireless cards, they are actually limited to only Haswell processors, only fourth generation uh, processors from what I've looked into. I've seen some Qualcomm ones that support third generation. Um, but again, as I was saying here, reverse the process, put the screw back in, uh, the screw that I was using before, screw it in, push the antennas again in their cross position, uh, push them down on top of it. Once that's all done, and just go backwards, put the casing back on, put the screws back in, and you're set. Again, if you just want to take this uh, drive off, it only holds down by just four. Um, slides backwards, it slides in in that direction right there. And um, just pull it straight up, put the new one in, and install the operating system again like any other computer that you would. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Feel free to leave some feedback or anything on the video. Um, not really ever made a lot of videos here, so... Uh, feedback would be greatly appreciated. Let me know how you like, how you like the actual video.